This week I will share a brushing method for beautiful hair called reverse brushing. Hello beautiful souls, I am Yasuko and it's time for Massage Monday. Last week I introduced this tsubaki oil or camellia oil that Japanese have been using for centuries for their beautiful hair. During my research, I came across a certain brushing technique that a popular model and celebrities in Japan are doing to keep their hair gorgeous along with this oil. It's called reverse brushing. This model, Mika An, her mother taught her this brushing technique and at age 48 a few years ago, she only had like one gray hair. She has four other siblings and she and her sister who practice this reverse brushing are the only ones without gray hair. And these Kano sisters, they are like Japanese Kardashians living a lavish extravagant lifestyle and totally into beauties. They are doing the reverse brushing too. I wish I knew this 20 years ago, but it's better late than never, so I started doing this. The type of brush to use. Since this massage is scalp, use a brush like a paddle brush that has some cushion and sparse bristles with round tips. I would not use nylon or plastic brush that causes static or the one with sharp bristle tips. A brush with dense animal hair is for a shiny hair, not for the scalp massage, so it's not ideal for this brushing method. Traditionally, Japanese use a comb made with tsuge, which is boxwood. They use this material because it doesn't cause static, which will damage your hair. And they soaked it in a tsubaki camellia oil before combing their hair. It requires maintenance, but if you maintain it well, by cleaning and re-soaking it in tsubaki camellia oil, it can last for years. Now they have a brush, but the real tsuge boxwood brush is quite expensive. So I'm using my $10 bamboo paddle brush that's cushioning and the tip of the bristles is round to protect the scalp. Bamboo is anti-static, so it's easy on your hair. I have a feeling that the bamboo bristles are probably coated and they don't absorb the oil from soaking, so I apply a drop of oil on the tip manually before brushing. How to do the reverse brushing? Do this only on dry hair. Look down and flip your hair forward. And start brushing from the nape of the hair all the way to the tip of the hair as you massage the scalp. Do this 100 times, which is about 3 minutes if you have a long hair. I've been doing this 50 times reverse from the back and 50 times normal from the front. You can do all or mostly reverse, but I saw one blogger was doing 50 times each way and I thought that was easier on my weak neck. When you brush from this angle, you can really feel the back of your head massaged more than when you brush from the front. I used to dye my gray hair, but I stopped it a while ago. Now I have a good amount of gray, so I can experiment different things. Besides the reverse brushing, Mika An is also taking silica, so I will be taking it to see if it makes any difference. I will share it if I notice anything different. After 50 times, I come back up and fix any tangles from flipping and do 50 brushing from the front. Instead of boring you with me just brushing, here is some anatomy. The fresh blood is pumped from the heart and travels upward in the scalp. When you keep your scalp flexible with massage, it helps the nutrients to get to the hair root which is vital for the hair growth and healthy melanocyte which gives the color to your hair. When your hair is formed, it's colorless. It's the melanocyte that injects color pigment called melanin to the keratin, which is the protein that makes up our hair. When the melanocytes stop producing melanin, your hair will stay gray and grow gray. 
So keep your melanocytes active if you don't want to lose your hair color. I think gray is beautiful too though because it reflects your maturity. There's nothing wrong with coloring your hair too. Any color you want to express who you are. With that said, I'm also thinking of trying Yerba Santa and Magnesium oil. Again, I will share it if I try them and if they do anything. Now my hair is super smooth and stays smooth the whole day. I brush my hair every day, but I never used to brush my hair more than 10 times. Never 100 times or even 50 times. The reverse brushing is making my hair feel softer and smoother because there's absolutely no tangling. And it feels really good on the scalp. I can feel the circulation going after the reverse brushing. If you've never tried this, and if your hair allows it, and if this type of brushing doesn't damage your hair, try this and let me know how you feel. I've done a video about how massaging the back of the head helps with the facelift. I'll put the link below. And this helps with that too. So it's like killing two birds with one stone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back next week. Make it a great week. Feel free to comment below and please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell.